ほー
I don't know what you call it, some kind of hologram, but a hidden hologram where they could go inside the interrogation room and see what Halsey was revealing to the medical officer or the interrogation officer, whoever that was. I actually liked it. I thought it was a nice touch and it really made for some really good blocking for the characters. We also did get some moments between Catherine and her daughter, Miranda, in her apartment after she was discharged from her future projects. Look, this was one of the moments I'm talking about where it just felt really drawn out. I mean, we know that they have a terrible history with each other. Catherine Halsey really has no regard for her daughter in any way. Of course, she cares about her, but that's like an innate human response when she was under fire and potentially in danger in last episode's battle. She rushed to her aid. But what else happened in this episode? I mean, we got to see that Dr. Halsey has a pretty nice apartment. I mean, I would live there. But let me talk to you about Adrian. So Adrian, if you guys have watched my other reviews, you know he's my least favorite character. This dude is so annoying, I cannot stand him. From an actor's point of view, from a story point of view, and just anytime he comes up on screen, I just, I want to scream and fast forward, but I can't fast forward because it's Paramount Plus and I don't pay to have ad-free service. So check this out, new theory. What if Adrian is not real? What if Adrian is an AI? I mean, think about it. No one has ever interacted with Adrian on screen yet. All he does is linger in the background behind Halsey, who he's obsessed with. I mean, he kissed the clone version, or he was trying to anyway. He wrote some of the code and firewall programming for the Cortana program, and he's very technologically savvy, but he doesn't seem to do any. Look, I think they are hiding a twist in the show, and I think that twist is that Adrian is either an AI or some kind of clone. Because why else would he leave the UNSC scientist program, or whatever the hell they call it, and go chill out with Halsey in her apartment? And they try to throw us off by giving him different clothes. But I'm telling you, I think this guy was a failed attempt at a Cortana project, kind of like a beta program, and this is where he ended up. Okay, let's talk about the ending. So look, he accessed the artifact again, but this time it was very different because he was in sync with Mackie. And I just want to point out, check out this shot. This is my favorite shot from the series. I love the way they composed this shot. Framing is beautiful, just that small slit in the opening, it almost adds like a little aspect ratio effect, and it tells a story within this shot. Just showing that Master Chief is enclosed inside this area and it's a very thin line that he will cross. I don't know, I just thought it was beautiful. So look, when, once they both wake up into this dream state or whatever this is, or just a vision, I'm not really quite sure what it is, but they, they are on Installation 4. Finally, a Halo. I mean, the show is called Halo, and we we're first seeing a halo in episode six. It's kind of like how I was so eager to see Cortana as well, and every time she pops up on screen still, I'm just like... But look, what was that? Was it a dream? Was it like a fourth dimension? Were they actually there? Were they teleported? Do they have the ability to be in multiple places at once? What is what is this? What are Master Chief and the Blessed One? That's my question for you guys. What do you think it is? Because I'm very confused at this point. They're introducing tons of new stuff that is not in the games or the novels or anything like that, which I'm down for. And it leaves me curious, makes me want to know more. I'm, I'm excited for next week's episode too to find out. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I will say, very well done, the shots on Installation 4. The shots on the Halo Ring are gorgeous, and it really invokes what it is, that Halo Ring 4, and it really feels like it's straight out of Halo Infinite or from Halo 3 or 2. Colored beautifully, shot very well. So look, that's all that happened this week. Not much to talk about. Shorter episode, a little slow, had some pacing issues. I hope we get back into it next next episode. Look, we are two thirds through this show. I should also point out they did officially greenlight season two of the Halo series, which shows that they have faith in it, but it also leads me to wonder, we're probably going to get one hell of a cliffhanger at the end of this series. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Leave a like down below, comment, tell me what you're thinking. What do you think is gonna happen? Tell me about that ending. I wanna know your theories. Check out the podcast feed for other great episodes, and there's tons of other videos on the YouTube page. I will see you guys next week.